Hello, and welcome back to the Food Network. It's me, Chantal, and Chantal's loving, caring husband, Sala. Looks like we're going to go for a walk today. Now, the last time we went for a walk along the beach, it was pretty grim. It was a little bit concerning. Um... My heart rate definitely went up. I know that hers was also up as well. So (laughs) Uh, let's see how this walk goes in comparison. Gentle. Yes, hi guys. So we are here on Fenta's Beach. We are going to do a small walk just so I can bring up my stamina. It's a bit humid. That's why I'm sweaty, but there's a cool breeze, so it's fine. Yeah, it's just like walking in 10 minutes, you know? Yeah, just a short walk for now. Yeah, so enjoy with us, guys. Actually, guys, the weather is so windy and humid. I mean, who would have thought it's a desert in the middle of summer at night? Um, Her conversation on stamina is sort of the same as the one that I hear from Amber Lynn. They have this concept in their mind that stamina is something that can be attained at any weight. And while that's true, I think that the concept of it is a little bit silly because in Amber Lynn's mind, and I think with Foodie Beauty too, they think that there are two different versions of the same person at 450 pounds. Um, there is a version of Chantal that the one that we're looking at right now that is 450 pounds and is basically apartment bound. Can't really get around much. Um, if she does do any sort of walking or going out or whatever, it's very limited. She gets, she gets dizzy and lightheaded very easily. But in her mind, there is another version of Chantal at 450 pounds that can actually get around. Um, She can get across the parking lot without getting dizzy, not needing a bottle of water after five steps, Um, can walk upstairs and everything. So um, it's almost as if Amber Lynn and Foodie Beauty try to make being super morbidly obese doable. It's I don't know. I just feel like if I was 400 or 500 something pounds, my goal wouldn't be to make it so I can function at that weight. My main goal would be to get to a lower weight and then function at that lower weight because it would be more comfortable and make more sense at that lower late, lower weight to live life. But They seem to think that it's two different entities, weight loss and stamina. Weight loss and being able to be a productive person at this weight, it's two different ideas, which doesn't really make sense to me. I feel like the main goal here should be to uh, really kick in the weight loss into high gear, and then the stamina will be... A re- like a side effect, a result of the weight loss, not something that's attained separately. A nice cool breeze from the ocean. Yeah, check this out, guys. So nice and relaxing. Yeah. It's pretty relaxing. And there's no one here because it's like nighttime, so. Whoa, look at the ship light. <laughs> Let's see the cat. Oh. Let's see the cats. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this cat's like, nah, I, I don't F with y'all. I heard about BBJ. Get away from me. <laughs> she ran away. There it is again, that word. 
So, so the the opportunity presented itself when they came across this little cat. I mean, maybe Chantal did that all along. She saw the little cat over here and then said, oh, let me make a fuss about this cat that I don't care about so that we can take a filming opportunity so that while he's distracted for 20 seconds, I can sit down. <laughs> and she needs a seat because she doesn't have the greatest stamina. Again, the concept of being able to be a 400 whatever pound person, but still be functional, still be in a state of operation, still be able to do everyday things. Th that's what she's working toward. Not, not the weight loss. No, 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 no. We just need to get to a place where we aren't just, you know, beached. I have to build it. She just needs the food, babe. Oh. <laughs> I was um, taking a walk. This was maybe like last week or whatever. And I passed this house and it's it, it had like a giant trap outside of it. And it, it like did not, something I'd never seen before. And there was a sign above the trap and it said, this is for all um, local cats or whatever. And basically it was a sign saying that they were trapping all of the cats that roamed in the area spaying neutering them and then putting that back into the neighborhood so do you guys have that in your area too like like traps just like set up in your town or city and like people who go and provide this service for the cats and then release them out there and everything i, I guess maybe it's to i guess it would be a, to control overpopulation just too too many Hello. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> Someone loves cat food. So cute. Goodbye. Nice beach. So this place called Fantas Beach. Uh, we haven't been here before, eh? Yeah, first time I bring you here, baby. The sea breeze really helps. <laughs> yeah, at least there is air, there is wind. Yeah. If there is only humid, we're gonna die. <laughs> oh yeah, it's pretty nice for sure. You know, normally I would say that she looks like um, Heat Miser from A Year Without of Santa Claus, but today it's kind of giving Pennywise. It's like she has this white face, but some parts of her face are so fulled up with like the humidity and the heat and everything that they're coming out as red. So it almost as if looks like some parts of her face are like the pale white clown makeup that you would see on a killer clown like Pennywise. And then the other parts are making up like um, the, the distinction, you know, like the red nose that a killer clown has, but like you see it in her face, like from the humidity. I know it's it's very interesting. Seriously, if if you've ever been to like a museum that has abstract art and you were to see this hanging, I mean that is what I would take away from that piece. <laughs> I still think I like Heat Miser the best though. Probably red and sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. How do you know that? <laughs> Inshallah, you are Shatra, smart. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to do that in every vlog he'll I, I mean he does he makes fun of her he does how, oh my how did you know that you were all red and sweaty looking wow what what gave you that idea Chantal and, and then she laughs along with it I mean her laughing at him laughing at her Loving, loving relationship.
There's small stairs there to enter the beach directly. What? What's that? Yeah. Take a break, baby. Oh yeah, that's why Chantal. Yeah, you you have the headache because you just ate. I'm sure. I'm sure that's the reason. And I'm sure the reason why you struggled on the elliptical is because it was outdated machinery, right? It was an it was an old machine. That's that's why you had trouble doing the elliptical. <sighs> Not good. Not good, y'all. I mean, th this is the same type of thing that she did on the last beach walk. As soon as they started walking and building up a little bit of momentum and seemed like they were doing okay, it just came crashing and burning, and I'm lightheaded, I'm dizzy, I have a headache, I need water, I need to sit down, I can't do this anymore. So, really, what happened in the last video was they started walking for a little bit together, and then Chantal had to sit down, and then he went off and ventured off on his own and started to, like... He went down by the beach and he like filmed the rocks and then he brought like a seashell back up from the sand to her. And then it was, it was, it was like a little, like, you know, you know, you ever seen like a grandparent and like a, a child like go out and everything and like the grandparent will sit down and like let the child roam in the immediate area. And then the child will bring back dandelions for their grandparent or like a cool rock or something that they found. And the grandparent looks at them and goes, oh, how nice. Wow. This is really great. Like. That's how it was. Salah went out and like played on his own, got got a seashell and brought it back to, to Chantal. <laughs> we just ate, so I have a cramp too. Round two. <laughs> Hi. <sighs> Hi, baby. I wish I was in shape like you. We'll be in trouble, baby, one day. Inshallah. It will definitely improve my quality of life. I can do more things, you know, tolerate the heat a bit better. Yeah, of course, babe. But... See, that's the, that's the thing, though. You know, it'll be nice. I, I, I wish, I wish I was in shape. I, I, I could do other stuff if I was in shape, but... Do you really want that, Chantal? That's kind of the same question I ask in Berlin. I mean, what do you want to do? Do you want to just be able to get to a baseline where walking around isn't painful? Do you want to actually exercise? Do you want to live a healthy life? Do you want to travel? Like, what do you want out of this life? Because to me, it seems like sitting around, playing on the computer, eating whatever you want and doing the bare minimum seems to be very satisfying for you. So I just think, I'm just under the impression that I don't think people go after things in life unless it interests them. It just doesn't happen by chance. Like, oh, you know, maybe I'll get back. It would be nice to be able to take walks. It would be nice to be able to not have to lug around 300 excess pounds of whatever. It would be nice, but do you want it? Do you really want it? That's where the weight loss part comes in. You're only going to get there if if I feel like you're internally motivated. Not just like, oh, it would be nice to be able to do that. That, that I feel like that's not going to get you anywhere. Because I feel like Chantal lives a very simple life. And she's okay with that simple life. But it's a harmful simple life. Sitting around doing nothing, playing on the computer all day, eating food that gets brought to you by a delivery app is not a good lifestyle to have. So... What do you want? Yeah, as long as we take breaks. Yeah, it's all right. We must take a break. Just a small walk. Just don't be hard on yourself. Step by step, baby. Uh, <laughs> Let's keep walking. Yeah, Hello guys. <laughs> oh my god, he stares at himself and he's worse than Eugenia. If you've ever seen some of my Eugenia videos, when Eugenia Cooney and her mom go out and do stuff like on the town, like walk around like uh like the outlet mall or whatever they do in their vlogs, Eugenia when she vlogs will stare at herself the entire time. He's just as bad. He is just as bad. You can tell that he's really into himself. I mean just the whole time staring at himself.
And really, he he is playing a part. Like, oh, baby, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Just remember step by step. But in the other scene, he's making fun of her. It's almost as if, like, I feel like he puts on a character and says certain things in these vlogs so that when maybe he applies for Canadian citizenship or whatever, they'll go and look at these vlogs and be like, oh, wow, what a loving, supportive couple. I mean, why Why else? Why else would you want to play a character? Hi. <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> Like sugar and spice. <laughs> 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 So they just had that whole conversation about never giving up and one step at a time, day by day. Just don't push yourself, you know, don't be too hard on yourself, whatever. And then he said, all right, let's get up and start walking again. Ten seconds into the walk, Chantal says, all right, let's turn back. (laughs) It, It just must be, it just must be so painful. And this is something that I... Inshallah, we'll never have to empathize or never be able to empathize with. I mean, carrying around 300 excess pounds of, you know, it it must be painful. It really must be painful. I guess so. I guess if you're someone out there that's watching and then that is you right now or that was a point in your life, maybe you can empathize with this about how just uncomfortable and painful it is. I mean, me sitting here. You know, I don't want to come across as ignorant. I see like, you know, two people walking around the sidewalk of a beach at night thinking, oh, what's so hard about this? But I can imagine when you are in this state of health, it's just every step is painful. I I mean, like you ever get like a little like cut on your heel or you wear the wrong type of shoe and every step you take, it rubs it a little bit. So it just becomes so miserable every step you take. I can imagine that's how it is, except with your whole body, not just your heel. Hi, baby. I'm trying not to die, die. What? What? (laughs) Oh no, this vlog is going to follow the same format as the last one. I remember how we I just talked about it, how she couldn't keep up, so he went off and ventured on his own. That's exactly what's going on right now. Does she follow him out onto the beach? No. See, what happened was they they have to make this vlog at least eight minutes because that's like Chantal's thing. If you upload a video that's less than eight minutes, the person who's watching it only has to do the initial advertisement that unlocks the video. If you upload a video that goes to eight minutes, then the person has to watch two ads, so that makes her more money. So what happened was they were done walking and filming and they had enough content. Well, that they reached their content limit by about five and a half minutes. But Chantal figured, well, I still need more footage. This isn't enough to get to the eight minutes. So how about I'm going to sit down. I'll sit here, you know, regain consciousness, catch my breath. You go out and walk around and film. That's exactly what happened. So it is. It's kind of like a tag team, except Sal is always tagged in. So here's the ocean, uh, so close. See, I mean, I mean, and then, you know, we get the uh, golden tier commentary from Sala walking out onto the beach saying, L- look, this is the ocean. <laughs> uh. 
Oh my. Oh, we're, we're dumpster diving today. We are dumpster diving, and we're not finding anything. Too many rocks here. Amazing breeze. I love this vibe. So I did not follow him down to the beach because it's a little exhausting for me to walk in the sand and I was already suffering. But also, I'm afraid of giant squid sea monsters. Like, I have an actual fear of the ocean, especially at nights. Is she for real right now? I mean, she was owning it at first. I give her credit for that. I didn't want to walk on the beach. I was exhausted. I wasn't doing too well. Sand's harder to walk in than pavement. Okay. All right. I like when they own it. I like when they call it like it is. I'm afraid to go out onto the beach because of giant squids. Oh, my. Oh, my. Um... You, a giant, could you imagine a giant squid taking out Chantal? You know, out of all of the other health concerns that we have and things that are impending on our main character here, all of that falls by the wayside. The real demise comes from a giant squid. <laughs> I, I, I mean, just that, that would be that, uh, seriously. Like, CHF, um, just, it, 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 like, the possibilities right now for something to be dire are endless. I, I mean, the laundry list in my mind of things that could go wrong. Uh, so, all of, none of those things happen. It's a giant squid that gets her. ...of the ocean, especially at nights. This is pretty bad. I mean, these couples videos were always very boring, but I mean, at least in the other ones, when they went to McDonald's or they went to the museum, they were able to at least like walk around and stuff. I mean, it's getting to the point where Chantal can't even do the couples vlogs. I mean, really, the only type of content that Chantal can upload onto YouTube, the only thing that is able to make her money is sitting on the floor of her apartment eating that's not good that's not good at all and i mean if, if if we're comparing this to like a year and a half ago i mean think about chantal back in canada chantal had way more stamina and way more of a lifestyle over in canada i mean she was getting in her car she was always doing stuff she was cooking in her kitchen um i mean it, it still wasn't good don't get me wrong like we still weren't you know on to better pastures but it, it is. It's getting to the point where these couple vlogs aren't even going to be anything. I mean, really, most of this vlog has been him walking around. I mean, do you really think that the girl world community wants to see Salah walk around, film himself staring into the camera? It, it is. It's getting to the point where like we're just not going to be able to do couples vlogs anymore just because it's not possible. It's only going to be her sitting on the floor filming herself eat.
Hello. Hi. <laughs> I don't know this break. <laughs> you take a break or what? Yeah. My back was hurting. Oh, that's sad to hear. <laughs> yeah. Did you show them all the beach? Yes. Okay. Oh my god, she's so uncomfortable, even around him now. I mean, it, it is, it's almost been a year. We're, we're mm, 10 months, 10 months it's been, and she's still so uncomfortable around him. The nervous laughter, the the giggling after everything that she says, talking about how much pain she's in, but then it's immediately followed up with laughing. I mean, she is still just like trying to put on a good image for him. This is spooky. What is she doing? What does she think she's accomplishing? I, I really don't know. I, I mean, obviously, it's like a warped perception. It's like a, a twisted concept in her mind, but... You know, guys, we like to come here at the night time because, you know, at the daytime in the summer of Kuwait here, uh, it's too hot and humid. Imagine that, like a humid plus heat. It will be total uh, awful, actually. So we choose the night time will be more cooler and uh, good weather. Yes, exactly. It's, uh, it's very, very humid. It's nothing like I've ever experienced. So take some adopting. So. Okay, babe, so how yeah, I mean, they don't have too many polar bears in Texas for a reason. This probably isn't the best place for most humans to live i mean let alone chantal so yeah it probably would be easier for her to pr progress in a more temperate climate but would we would we i mean say say that those conditions that variable was changed you know, we no longer had to worry about the humidity or the, you know, the excess heat or whatever. Do we think that Chantal would be getting out and doing walks every day? Do we do we think that she would really be putting in an effort? I mean, is the weather really that fact, that great of a factor here? Something tells me it isn't. How about to head out to the car? Sounds good to me. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah, like, enough because just now we eat, guys. So, yeah. Enough exercises today and walking. <laughs> yes. All right, guys, it's time to go home. Yeah, well, let's go. I can't wait to miss Julia. Julia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did you hear the way she just said that? Yeah, I can't wait to go back to that apartment. I love it there so much. I really, I, uh, I love it. Uh, <laughs> listen to this. Whoa. Yeah, well, let's go. I can't wait to miss Julia. Julia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, catch you in another video. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming along. It is. It's going to get to the point. I mean, I don't know. Maybe things will pick back up when it cools down. But even still, if they continue to do vlogs like this, it is going to continually be more and more minimal physically. I mean, I don't know if we this upcoming fall or next year would see a type of vlog where Chantal goes into a museum or uh, plays on the playground equipment outside of a McDonald's or walks around that amusement park, for example. I just don't see it. I, I don't see it being accessible if we can't at this point walk around the sidewalk of a beach without getting lightheaded or dizzy. So it's concerning. It's definitely worrisome, but... Uh, this is no environment for Chantal. I mean, the the culture there, it's, it's a total clash. Uh, I mean, the weather, obviously, him. Like, like what, who does she think she's fooling? And even if she was fooling people, what does she get out of that? What, really, what does she get out of that? Uh, strange. Strange, but... All right, well, that's the latest on the Food Network. I'll see y'all next time.